guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Amanda and I'm a homeschool mom to four young kids. They are seven, five, three, and almost a year old. And this is uh, starting to become a very highly requested video that I'm going to attempt to do today. <laughs> With all the kids around, things can get a little chaotic, but I've had a lot of requests to film our homeschool routine slash like how I organize everything. So I wanted to give you guys a look at what it's like start to finish in our day. In our day, um, I'm gonna start with giving you guys a look at the curriculum that we use, how I have everything organized, and how I get it set up for the week, and how the kids work throughout the day. So um, we do a Becca, and we do the streaming video lessons, which does make things a little trickier. Today is probably gonna be a mix of uh, the face-to-face -face talking with you guys, but also just footage of everything, and then I'll do a voiceover because the noise with... Boys, hold on, hey. Um, the noise can get a little bit loud in here. So for you guys to actually be able to hear me, that's, I'm gonna be doing partly voiceovers. But I'm gonna start with giving you guys a look at how I have everything set up and organized, and then we'll get going on our day. All right, so on the shelf, I've got all of their school stuff. I'm just gonna move you guys over. This one's a little clingy today, which is why she's so close. So up here, I have just various craft um, supplies. There's a lot of craft involved in the Becca curriculum, which the kids love. <laughs> I don't love it quite so much, uh, but they are really, really neat crafts. So the kids have a lot of fun with those and I have their supplies here. Um, I don't get supplies for like the entire year all the way throughout. That would be a lot of stuff to store. So I just get things as I need. Um, usually I'll try to look ahead a month or ideally two months, but that's not always possible. The kids love to draw. Hold on. The kids love to draw. So paper and oil pastels and crayons are always a big thing to have around. And the kids love Scrabble Junior. So every now and then we'll pull that out. Nora really does well with it. Um, as helping with her spelling practice. It's a really great game, I love that game. We've got some flashcards here, alphabet flashcards, big flashcards, hold on. And then um, a Beckett is a Christian curriculum. So we have Bible verse cards that the kids work on. So for each of the kids, um, I've just separated them off onto one side or another. This is Nora's side, so here are all of her textbooks and she's got her readers for throughout the year. These are not all school books, like these are some drawing books. Um, but then she's got a history book here, her science book is on the table. This, she'll start in a little bit here, it's a reading comprehension uh, workbook. And then, when you do the video lessons, uh, you always get sent the full curriculum. So all of the textbooks, all of the tests, and speed drills for arithmetic. And then the video manual. And these are really nice because it gives you a look at each day. So there's your lesson, here are the different subjects and you don't have to do it in this order. Um, but then it just gives you a, an overview of what they're gonna be doing and what work um, pages they need to have ready for the day. So this is gonna be Dane's stack of readers. So right now he's just working on the beginner blend book and then he'll go into uh, these different levels of readers. And by the time they're in, so he's in kindergarten and by the time they're in kindergarten, they're doing the small three syllable, or three syllable three letter words. These are just some supplemental readers. Um, so these are like higher levels would be like for Nora and stuff. Um, she went through some of these during first grade. So then Dane's um, stuff is over here and it's a lot like Nora's. So they've got the days broken down, what subject they're working on and what you need to have ready for that day. And then all of his textbooks are right here. For the most part, you can pull out all of the pages in the textbooks and then um, the, they don't have to work inside the book. Some of the books, not so much. So like the um, health and science book for kindergarten, they don't pull any of these out. They would just color inside and just read out of the book. He hasn't started this quite yet, but those pages will stay inside, but then textbook pages we pull out. All right, so these little containers, I have one for Nora and one for Dane. This is Dane's. And I started this when Nora was in kindergarten and it's working really well. So inside I've just got different folders, one for each day. I'm sorry you guys, it is so loud in here. <laughs> um, so I pull out their pages for that day. And I'll usually do this at the beginning of the week. So he worked on that yesterday and today he'll be working on this side. So at the beginning of the week I'll go through and I will pull out all of the pages that they need and set them in each folder. And it's just so much easier that way we don't have the books out and in our way. So here's a look at what he's gonna be working on today for his handwriting. We are doing cursive for them. 
And you have the choice of cursive or manuscript when you do a Becca. And then back here, so these are all of his work pages that he's completed there in this folder, and then his graded work. And it's set up exactly the same for Nora. I keep their graded work in these folders. I do keep their completed workbook pages through the year, but then at the end of the year, I've just been tossing them. The only ones that I keep are the graded ones. Um, I'm just doing that because that's what I want to do. With the Becca, you can be accredited, and what that means is you can send their work in, and they will grade it at the Becca Academy, the um, school that it operates out of, and then they will keep records of your children's grades over there, and it's just a little more official. I've chosen not to do that just because it's not required until kids are in high school that they have official grades being kept. So for right now, um, we're just taking homeschooling a year at a time. Our life is chaotic right now and it's just easier for us to keep them home um we want to keep them home especially when they're younger and then i just love this curriculum it's really really strong in a lot of ways so i think it's going to set them up really well for the future but i don't know for sure that we're going to keep homeschooling them like all the way throughout high school so for now i keep their graded work and i just put it at the end of the year in a manila envelope and it all stays together but everything else i just toss and these are the mornings, how they go before the kids start school. It's noisy and it's chaotic, but they're usually just hanging out before we start school. And I usually try to start school with them between 8 or 8.30 if I'm not going to the gym. If I do go to the gym, things get pushed back, of course. So it's probably more like between 9.30 and 10 most mornings. But today's a day when we're not going to the gym. This is where Dane sits. And um, then his video lessons are on the big computer. And then we have Nora over here on the dining table and her schoolwork is on the laptop. Next year is probably gonna look really different because most likely we will not be in this home and I am hoping eventually to have a homeschool. Be nice, you guys. Uh, yeah, today's gonna be very real. <laughs> uh, I am hoping eventually to have a homeschool room, but for right now, it does work really well to have them out like this because I can still get things done as you will see I can get you know cleaning done laundry done and I'm still in earshot and I can keep an eye on them because this is very central to the house and make sure that they're getting things done. All right, you guys, so I usually start Nora and Dane both on their Bible lessons. Becca does have it set up where that's the first um, lesson of the morning and they do like the Pledge of Allegiance and they sing some songs and then they do their Bible lesson. So it's the easiest video for me to start getting things done. Right now I'm cleaning up the breakfast dishes and just getting the floors <laughs> vacuumed, which has to happen constantly. Uh, Abby's crawling around. She's gonna be getting ready for her first nap here in a little bit. And then Warren, this is usually what's going on with him. Um, he helps me out with chores a lot and I will, when I can, sit down and play with him. And he is really good about sitting and playing with Abby a lot of times, but this morning she was getting pretty fussy um, and I'm gonna be putting her down here in just a minute. And then he wanted to sit down and read a book, which sometimes he wants to do things like this. Other times he likes to play independently. Um, and then he also loves, loves to sit down with Dane and do his lessons, which it's kind of hit and miss if he can do that. I do try to encourage that, but sometimes he's just too noisy and fidgety. He's not quite four, so he's still a little bit young to be expected to sit down, and I do try to keep him busy. But as you can see with this lesson here, they're talking about brushing teeth and other hygiene. So he wanted to join in, and he has a lot of fun with the videos. When it comes to Nora's curriculum, um, she's almost eight, so she is getting really independent and she's very capable of getting her lessons started and um, finding her lessons throughout her little video dashboard thing and then all of her papers. So really, I'm just coming in and making sure that I know what she's supposed to be doing for the day and making sure there isn't anything that she might need some extra help on. Is S a vowel? Yes. No. Mm -mm. So. It's a consonant. Good. S is a consonant. What's the rules? Tell me the rules. Um, when there's one vowel in a word, it usually says short sound and we mark it with a smile. Okay. So are you going to put a smile over S? <laughs> no. Good. Vowel. What are your vowels? Uh, 
What are their names? That's the sounds. What are their names? A, E, I, and O, and um, U. Very good. So there is a lot of back and forth which happens, which is another reason why it does work really well having this setup that we've got in this home. Um, this is usual for me. I'm usually doing chores and laundry alongside with the kids and I like to fold the laundry or well, sort it anyway out here so that I can keep an eye on what they're doing and make sure that they're participating. But it is a lot of juggling the chores and then the kids' stuff. However, the videos are a huge help for me. I I really love that I can get these things done. I'm not completely strapped down to being the teacher and keeping track of everything. Uh, Becca does a really great job of setting out a schedule and you can either follow it or not. It's up to you, but I really love following it and then I can adjust it if I need, but this way I'm able to get other things done. So the breaks that Nora and Dane take, um, a lot of times I will stagger the two of them and that will help a lot with keeping the noise level down. That way I don't have two separate videos going. So right now I've got Dane after snack time, he's doing a video, Nora's taking a break with us and then she'll do one and he'll take a break and they sort of do this swap back and forth thing. But right now she's taking a quick break and then she'll start her next video. Uh, uh, uh. uh. So today I wanted to get everything picked up before quiet time and Warren was the one that made most of this mess so I brought him in to help me clean up. The other two were pretty good about helping but I wanted to get all of their schoolwork done and out of the way so it was just him and I working on this after lunch and he's a good little helper most of the time. As you guys can see, it's a lot of back and forth um, and just starting and stopping. And uh, that's pretty much how I do every day. Nora goes longer stretches. She'll do um, two or three videos in a row most of the time. Dane, I don't usually have him do more than two videos in a row and then I'll give him a break. Are you saying hi? A lot of times I will let him take um, short 10 or 15 minute breaks in between each video unless it's a really short one just because he does have a really hard time sitting still he's very very physical so he is usually um up and about a lot more often but his schoolwork also doesn't take very long total um his schoolwork if we went straight through i think it would only take us probably a couple of hours nora's it's more um I'd say probably three or three and a half hours. It does depend when the kids get older, just how quickly they work through everything and if there's a subject that they're struggling with. Right now, Nora is having a difficult time um, with spelling. So that does take us a little bit longer. She does need to do a lot more practice, practice and review. And then if I'm not able to focus with them because of the little ones, uh, they will take extra breaks as needed. So.
All right, so it is just before one o'clock or so and the kids um, got done with their schoolwork. We got done early today just because Nora and Dane have ninja training tonight and I wanna make sure they get a good quiet time in. So I've got them outside to try to wear them out. We live on a really quiet road which is super, super nice um, because the kids love to be outside. Okay, you guys, so that, in a nutshell, is how most of our days go. Um, like I said, it changes. Um, I do keep a schedule, but I do like to have it sort of a freeform schedule where we can adjust things and change things if we need things come up, um, and then just how the kids are doing with things. So it can change when we end. Right now, the kids are down for quiet time, and we got all their schoolwork done um, you know, before one o'clock, but other days, Sometimes Nora's doing her last couple of videos after quiet time and it's like 3.30, it just depends. So I hope that this answered some of the questions that you guys had about how we homeschool and what our day looks like, how I organize everything, and then a closer look at the curriculum that we use. If you guys have any more specific questions, feel free to leave them below. I have no problem answering them for you guys. I can answer them in either a homeschool vlog or um, I can do a sit down video if you guys have some specific questions that you want me to answer or just thoughts on things, I guess. But I would love to get a dialogue going with you guys about homeschooling, just if you have questions about it or if you're a homeschool parent, I'd love to know and chat with you about it. It's definitely a lot. It's kind of chaotic right now, but it is fun, it is worth it and um, they are doing really well with it. So I am excited that we're doing it. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. If you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. All that's gonna do is let you know when I upload my next video. So thanks again for watching, you guys, and we'll see you with the next one.